Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Spaceman. Adam Sandler, Netflix. So, I was excited. I tossed this one up. If you lost my, my previous movie review, Code 8 came out on Netflix, part 2. I was like, oh, what should I watch? I chose that one. That one was rated below a 6. This one's a 5.8 on IMDb. Um, and so, I don't know. Um, 4,820 people only watched it so far, or rated it anyway. Um, and it sounds kind of interesting. Half a year into a solo mission on the edge of the solar system, an astronaut concerned with the state of his life back on Earth is helped by an ancient creature he discovers in the bowels of his ship. I don't know. Um, but Carrie McGullen is in it. Mul Mul Mulligan. Mulligan. Paul Dano is also in it. He's awesome. Kuna Nayar. So, um, you know, from... Oh, man, I just lost it. I had it in my head with uh, Sheldon and the gang. Ay, ay, ay. Lena Olin. She's, like, in everything I've been watching lately. So there's a lot of good people in it. Um, that's going to that's gonna drive me nuts. I can't... Re um, uh, Big Bang Theory. Sorry, Big Bang Theory. Sorry for yelling at you. So I don't know. I guess low expectations. Um, I was going to watch something else, but an hour and 47 minutes long right on Netflix. I'm excited. We'll see. Stick around. But just I'm just I'm excited, but I'm trying to set my expectations low, so I like it more because the ratings just aren't there. So stick around. I'll let you know. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Spaceman, and I'll say I don't understand all the hate. <laughs> I know it's a, not hate, but the 5.8. I didn't mean to rhyme, but I don't. I don't see it. I mean, unless people go into it thinking, hey, this is going to be like an Adam Sandler like comedy, it's definitely not that. And it's definitely not perfect and it doesn't have holes um, and different things that I maybe would change. But I don't think, it, you know, I'm probably calling it a 6 closer to a 7, which in my ratings, you know, like if I'm doing that, mostly when we see movies like that, they're up higher. They're over 6 or 7. Um, you know, that doesn't drive what... but. I did enjoy it. I thought it was pretty good. It's not, it, it's definitely weird. Um, maybe some of the hate is because of the wife, um, Carrie Mulligan's character. Um, sorry, I've got something in my tooth, I feel like. But, um, you know, there's a lot of good things in this movie that I thought was uh, funny. Real quick, and, I, and then we're going to do a little spoiler at the end, but um, his daughter's in it. Um, his Adam Sandler's actual daughter is in the beginning. This small little cameo, but I just know her because she's uh, that you're so not invited to my bar mitzvah. That's the only reason I know that, which I didn't like that one. But anyway, so this is um, basically Adam Sandler goes into space. There's some sort of cloud, or I'm going to say an aurora. I don't know if that's the right thing, but uh, you know, it looks like purplish in the sky. I've been there for four years. They send. Um, Adam Sandler up there to investigate and find out what it is and it takes him six months to get there and it's going to take him six months to get back so we're catching up but I'm halfway just over the halfway mark 189 days and so and he's by himself which is the first thing that I would call out is like or maybe I'm not I don't follow NASA or you know people who send people in space but do they really send a lot of people up there for a full year mission alone like there's got to be a lot of mental risk with that right so that is, eh, but that doesn't make for a good movie, <laughs> you know. Um, so that was the one thing I figured that he sent multiple people up there to, to do this, but they didn't. Okay, um, but you get up there and you find he has some marital problems, and I think it's right out, um, right in the beginning, um, you know, that she's leaving him, and that's the whole. You know, it, it, that's not a surprise. I don't think so. Hopefully, that's not a spoiler alert. But she's leaving him, and so like it's like, are they gonna send him the message or, you know? But just think about that piece. Like, if she's gonna send him a message, and say it, how awful would that feel up there for six months, knowing that your wife left you? Or two, if she's not and you're gonna stop talking to him. Imagine that. Like, what's going on? And you don't know, and you have no way to find out. It, that'd be awful. So it brings me to the point of maybe why other people don't like this movie is because of that fact. Like, she, and I get it, there's two sides to every relationship, and, you know, we're only seeing one, basically one point of view. We get a little bit of her per, um, perception, but the ultimate thing is, is the man's in space and she's leaving him. It's like, you know, why can't you wait? Or why didn't you 
say, hey, if you leave, we're done. You know, and I give them the ultimatum. Would have been better. But again, it doesn't make for a good movie. But that's what would drive me down the, the ratings is because, ah, and I like Carrie Mulligan. And if you've ever seen Promising Young Women, that's when I was like, wow, I like her a lot. I like that movie, too. Um, here's another thing. Two more things, and I'll leave you. Um, well, actually, I'm going to do a, a spoiler piece. So two more things and a spoiler piece. But one, this movie really made me recognize how important the score is or the music or whatever you call it. I mean, the, the way that they scored this movie and made the movie much more dramatic than I think maybe it was. I don't know. It worked. It was great. I thought it was really well done. I picked up on it. And I'm not a guy who picks up on that. I've done, what, 1,600 movie reviews? This is the first time I talked about it. Maybe not. But I was like, wow. I thought it was well done. Um, it was perfect. It really gave you the feel of a lot of the other space movies that we see, like very dramatic space movies that, you know, like that. I was like, it really, I thought it really worked and, and worked well in this movie, make it like it or not. Second point that I want to get to, um, Cuthbert Polly, you know, from, uh, we talked about him from Big Bang Theory. Glad to see he's not typecast. He played some sort of like, you know, ground control um, guy uh, for Adam Sandler. I think his name was Pete or something like that, but definitely uh, a far cry from what he did in Big Bang Theory. So I like to see that and, and not to be typecast and hopefully he gets more roles, um, even though I like them as Cuthbert Polly if I'm saying his name right. So, so there you go. Definitely a, a six, fun watch, Netflix. Um, don't believe the hate. There are some other weird things, and I don't want to give you that. Um, you know, you'll you'll find those things really quick. Um, you know, and um, you'll see what I mean. But it didn't didn't lower the rating of the film for me. Really, it was Carey Mulligan's character. <laughs> All right. So now, real quick, if you haven't seen it yet, or you don't want to learn any more, I'm not gonna. Well, I might ruin the ending. So, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! All right. So we come to the end of the film. Now, obviously, I think, obviously, I shouldn't say that, but the spider was his subconscious, right? Like, he just made this up and wasn't really an alien from another planet, right? Right? <laughs> or am I crazy? Okay, that's great, and I figure that's what he was doing, so he made up something. I mean, you're alone for six months. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. Going back to my previous point, if you shouldn't have been alone. But okay, you do all that, you create a spider. Now, what if? What if, you know, we saw the ending, which I wasn't crazy about, the whole, yeah, you were a really good kisser kind of thing. Like, everybody wants to know, is she going to be there for him when he gets back or not? We don't know. Okay. I don't think there's going to be a spaceman, too. Um, but what if, you know, he made the spider up in his head? What if he made up the whole she's um, not leaving him thing, right? Like, he just overthought for months and months and months and maybe she had a bad connection at one point and they didn't talk for a couple of days but he's all in his head and he's making this all up and then in the end once he goes to see you know the beginning as we say and he feels better maybe he still gets picked up by the South Koreans I don't know or maybe he makes it back to a ship or maybe he never left his ship but it dawns on him like oh wow I only missed one phone call yeah I'm here for you and he made that all up in his head <clears throat> Tell me that wouldn't make a better ending. Or at least a, another option, I'd say. So, <clears throat> there you go. If you stuck around for that, a little bonus for you. Hopefully, I was helpful. And I'll let you go now because I think this was long. But thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.